Hello, I'm Amanda Howell and I'm the business librarian here at UW-Whitewater. Today I'm going to give you some tips on searching library databases so that you understand how they are different from sources like Google and that you can more effectively find the information you're looking for. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. When you start your library research, the best place to begin is the library's homepage, which you can find by going to library.uww.edu. To find a list of all the databases relevant to the College of Business and Economics, you can just go to the Find tab and click Articles and Databases. Over on the right side, there's a section that says Databases by Subject. If you click Business, you're taken to a list of all relevant business databases. So you can find things like market research, industry information, as well as articles. Today we're going to focus on article databases, and the two most common ones for business are ABI Inform Complete and Business Source Premier. Today I'm going to focus on Business Source Premier. The databases do look a little different, but they all have the same features and work the same way. So everything we talk about here can be applied to ABI Inform as well. Something to be aware of as you search business databases as well as, well as other library resources is that they work differently <laughs> from Google. Google utilizes something called natural language searching, which is why when you put in your full question with your question mark and everything, you're still going to get results. In library databases, you have to use something called Boolean. You might wonder why library databases don't just use natural language searching. And the reason is because Boolean is actually way more effective. You're going to get better results using this technique than natural language, language searching. In order to best use Boolean, I always recommend that you use the advanced search option. So the first thing you should do is change to that interface. And you'll notice we have a few different boxes here to put in our topics. The first step when you're doing your research is to always make sure you've formulated your research question or statement. If you can't verbalize what it is you're looking for, you're going to have a really hard time coming up with search terms. So my research question is, how do socioeconomic factors affect consumer behavior in the automobile industry? After you've come up with that question, you want to take the time to identify your keywords. In this case, my keywords are socioeconomic factors, consumer behavior, and automobile industry. You might be tempted to throw in correlation or effect as one of your keywords, but those are not going to be useful in your search. The database is already going to be looking for correlation, so leave those out when you do your search. After you've come up with your keywords, you want to make sure you have a couple alternatives for each word. This is because not everybody is going to talk about things the same way, and databases are going to use a lot of different words and phrases to talk about the same concept. So for socioeconomic factors, I might also want to try socioeconomics, but I could also go much more specific and use words like occupation, income, education. For consumer behavior, I might want to try decision making, buying behavior, attitude, motivation, perception. And for automobile industry, I could just use automobiles, or I could do cars, vehicles, trucks, different things like that. Make sure you have options that will make your search bigger if you're not getting enough results, and also narrow it down if you're getting way too many results. After you've done all that, you can actually start your search. So I'm going to put my first, one of my first words in here. I'm going to go ahead and do consumer behavior. You'll notice that I put quotes around consumer behavior. That's because what I'm doing is I'm telling the database that I want to find that as a phrase. I want it to look for those words next to each other rather than just an article with both of those words. So we'll get much better results by doing that. I'm also going to change my socioeconomic factors, make it a little more narrow, and just go to occupation. So when I press search, you can see I got 120 results, which is pretty good. But I know that there are a couple different words that people might use for occupation. And so I'm probably throwing out quite a few results that are relevant. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to put parentheses around this, and I'm going to add in the words job or career. Now when I do that, what I'm telling the database is that I want this phrase, because I've got quotes around it, and any of these words, any one of those words. When I did my search before, I was telling the database that I just wanted consumer behavior and the word occupation. And that's what Boolean does. You use these connectors to tell the database exactly what combination of words you're looking for. So when I do my search now, I get 975 results. So I was obviously missing a lot of things that were probably relevant before just because I was using the wrong word. Now, let's say you're doing your search and you are finding the same word over and over again or the same phrase that's not relevant to your search at all. You can use another tool here. If we change that to not, let's say I'm finding a lot of things about unemployment and that's really not something I'm interested in. What I'm going to do is change that to a not and put my word there. You'll notice that I put an asterisk after unemploy, and what that's doing is it's truncating that word. It's telling the database that I want any variation of it. So unemployed, unemployment, I don't want either of those words. So that's how basic Boolean works. You use these operators, and, or, and not, to tell them what combination of things you're looking for. This saves you from doing many searches. You can do just one when before I would have had to do three separate searches. Sometimes you might want to take advantage of the sort here. Right now it's going with the newest ones first. Often it's helpful to go to a relevant sort so you're getting the most relevant options at the top. You can also use the options along the side of the page for example, you can limit to scholarly if you were required to get a peer-reviewed article for one of your classes. You can change the date. So if you only want things from the past five years, you can modify that right there. You can see you can also limit to different source types depending on what kind of information you need. That is how you perform Boolean searching in a library database and it you'll notice it does work differently from Google, and it's important that you use these tools so that you can save time and have the best resources for your assignments. If you have any questions about this, you can feel free to get in touch with me. My contact information is on the page. Contact me in any way that's most convenient for you. And good luck with your database searching.